Now that we have a good idea of layouts and navigating across pages in the application, in this video, let's take a look at another special file Next.js provides as part of the app router, and that is the template file. To understand template files, let's quickly revisit layouts to understand a specific behavior. In our app router, we have an auth route group. This has a layout file to navigate across three different links, register, login, and forgot password. What I'm going to do is add an input element to gather some data from the user. What we gather isn't really important. We just need some state within the layout. At the top, import use state from React. Within the layout component, let's invoke use state Call it input. The setter function is set input, and the initial value is an empty string. For the JSX, just before navlinks, let's add a div tag, an input element, where we set value is equal to input, and on change is equal to arrow function where we get hold of the event and call set input passing in event.target.value. Again, it does not matter if it's the first name or email we are gathering. We just need state within the component. With this in place, let's head to the browser. Navigate to slash register. Now the input styles make the element not visible but I can assure you it exists. I'm going to fill in code evolution as the text. Now, I want you to observe the input value when I navigate from the register route to the login route. You can see the state is preserved. This is because layouts only mount the part representing the content of the newly loaded page, but keep all the common elements untouched. Layouts don't remount shared components, resulting in better performance. A majority of the time, this is the behavior you need. However, you might come across a scenario where you need the layouts to create a new instance for each of their children on navigation. Example scenarios include enter-exit animations for pages or running a side effect using the use effect hook when the route changes. For such situations, you can use the template file as replacement of the layout file. Templates are similar to layouts in that they wrap each child layout or page. But with templates, when a user navigates between routes that share a template, a new instance of the component is mounted, DOM elements are recreated, state is not preserved, and effects are resynchronized. A template can be defined by exporting a default React component from template.js or template.tsx file. Similar to layouts, templates also should accept a children prop which will render the nested segments in the route. Back in VS Code, all we have to do is rename layout.tsx to template.tsx. In the browser, we can re-enter code evolution and navigate to forgot password. You can see the state is not preserved anymore. This is the significance of the template file in the new app router. On a side note, it is possible to include both a layout.tsx and a template.tsx file. In such a scenario, the layout renders first and the layout's children is replaced by the component exported from the template file. Templates are not a common requirement, and you should always rely on layouts for shared UI. But if a need does arise for you to use templates, you now have a better idea on how to use them right. Alright, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.